Right guys, in my previous video I messed up my form so I decided to delete it and start again because there are two other things I'm going to show you in this video and then pretty much that's forms done and dusted. So let's go ahead and go create and form wizard. I'm still in my school database by the way and I'm going to use the uh, alumni table just because there are fewer fields and we don't go crazy here. So let's say I started adding you know like everything from there and I forgot to add name and surname. Okay so just work with me here. So go next, next, next. Okay alumni, uh, data, capture, fantastico, click finish great we're awesome and everything's like great and you know okay I remember from the last video I can switch to you know design view or layout view where's my layout view there it is there and I can you know chop and change stuff here's my properties just put that out of the way great so that's fine but then you notice know, like hold on a second I don't have their name and surname here so like what now what do I do so let's switch to the design view now we're getting into our design view okay so design view right now I know that doesn't look pretty but this is where we do the work and you know what what I do you see all these grid lines like I don't like them because they really just get in the way for me so I just right click and I just take off the grid take it off much better isn't it yes it is okay make that a little wider you know what make it a lot wider cool now in design view there's quite a bit that we can do I mean we can select a field we can move it Okay, we can locate it somewhere else. But what I wanted to do was add the two fields that we forgot to do the first time round. Now, a lot of people, if they don't know this, they will go now and delete the form and then create a new one adding the right fields. But we don't have to do that because we're CAT students, like we know this stuff. So here I am in my ribbon. There's my design tab that's currently activated. And you'll see it says add existing fields. That's what we want to do. So add existing fields. It brings up a side panel here. Fields available for this view. So the table is here. Well, it says show all tables, which is great. Surna uh, surname and name. All right, let's just make sure that we're going to work with the alumni table. All right, do you see what I clicked on there, guys? I just said, oh boy, I just said uh, show all tables. All right, and it's here. Okay, there are the other tables there. I'm not going to touch those. All right, I'm not going to touch those. Here I am here. I'm on, on the alumni table. And there's surname and there's name. So I'm going to take name and I'm just going to drag it over there. There it is there. Just maybe move it a little bit. And I'm going to take surname and I'm going to drag it also there. Nice. Okay. Now, okay, they're not in the ideal spot, but I mean, you get the idea. Okay, they're on the form now. So let's have a look and see. All right, click on view. Great, now they're there. There's name and there's surname. But now, in order to make this easier to work with, because every time I start a new field, oh, it's a new field, a new form capture, the first field that is selected is birthday. And normally, you know common sense says well let's just get their name and surname first all right so that means we have to change the tab order of this of this uh, form now what is tab order well the tab key when you press the tab key it goes from one field to the next this means you can actually go through a form pretty quickly just with a keyboard and the mouse all right or well, not even with a mouse you just use a keyboard just tab from one field or shift tab to go backwards okay tab to go forwards shift tab to go backwards and you can just tab from one form field to the next and then just type in the data that you need but I want name and surname to be the first two fields in my tab order so how do I do that let's switch to design view right here I am in design view still in my design tab and I'm in my detail section and again up here where it says tools you'll see it says tab order so let's click on tab order and see what we have. Great. There's the form header, the detail, the footer. We're in detail. Great. Here are all the fields in the detail section. There's name and surname down at the bottom. That means that it starts at birth date. If I keep tabbing, it just tabs to ID number, then email, then gender, and it goes all that. But I want name and surname to be first. Super easy, guys. I just take my mouse, have a look, just to the left of the word name, okay, the field. 
click and I just drag oh sorry click and then I just drag it I, oh my word just drag already I've got it now I got it now I promise there we go I'll do it again so you can see I wasn't joking I didn't edit this click and click and drag there you go so don't click and drag click click and drag there you go there's the secret so name surname then birthday let's see what that does so I click OK and I'm going to go back to my form view and you'll notice the first field that is selected is name if I press tab now it's now surname the next one's going to be birth date yes it is yes it is yes it is and there you go okay and that's how we do our add an existing field if we forgot to add it the first time or if we can change the tab order as well